Spurs with injury and then not able to force his way back into the Spurs side. It's a great ball to the far side and well taken down by Dodd. Oh, what a dream start for Southampton. And it's Neil Shipperley. That'll help him feel at home at the Dell. The midwinter signing by Alan Ball gets his most important goal so far in Southampton's colours. Great ball from a jilt and started it. And Spurs got horribly pulled apart there. And Schifferle was able, his Klinsman back defending, would you believe it? And Nethercott was at sixes and sevens as Schifferle closed in on goal. Five minutes gone and a dream start for Southampton. Here goes Heaney. It's a superb run from Neil Heaney. Now that is as clear a penalty as you are ever going to see. The most reliable spot kicker in English football against Walker. Well, Walker beats the ground in frustration. St. Matt does it again from the spot, but it was closer than normal. And a wry smile says it all, but Austin will not be smiling. It's goal number 23 for Matt Letizia. Another penalty in this tie. One at White Hart Lane to level it. And this extends Southampton's lead. It's a good one, too. Sheringham. Good touch from Teddy Sheringham. Oh, yes, they're back in it. Ronnie Rosenthal. The signs have been good since the break. And Teddy Sheringham's distribution has been magnificent in this game all the way from the start. It's another inventive back flick, Barnby, instant cross, Ronnie Rosenthal doing what he does best in the box. I think I said that anything can happen in the FA Cup. Austin forward. Ronnie Rosenthal, unlikely hero perhaps. He's going to have a shot. Oh, I do not believe it! You have to ask a question about Bruce Grobbenau being beaten on his near post. But what a strike from Ronnie Rosenthal. Southampton just let the tempo drop a little bit. And all the good work of the first half is undone in the space of two minutes in the second half. And there's still a long, long way to go in this cup tie. <laughs> Rosenthal. Interesting one. I just do not believe that Ronnie Rosenthal has made it three. And Bruce Grobbelar is having a night to forget in terms of the goals he's conceded here. It's absolutely out of nothing. He cocks the left boot again. And as true as a rifle bullet, it's in the top corner. But Bruce Grobbelar seemed to lose all his bearings. He thought it was sailing wide. What a terrible calamity for the goalkeeper, who just waved it through. It's one-on-one -on -one for a minute. Jurgen Klinsmann against Benali. Where's the help coming from? This could finish it. Teddy Sheringham. Oh, he did it fantastically well. A brilliant finish from a quality striker. And what a combination they make. The mistake by Ken Moncow, virtually the first he's made in the match. How cruel it is that Klinsmann's look more and more dangerous the longer this tie has gone. And they've a wonderful understanding, these two, for a combination new this season. It's a superb finish by Teddy Sheringham. And if one Spurs player deserved a goal tonight, surely it would be Sheringham for the unselfishness of all his hard work. And he gets his reward now. Magilta for Southampton. They're still trying to pass it around. Well, it's a good ball from Anderton. 
to Klinsman, Varmby, Nicky Varmby, onside. This will certainly finish it. Southampton had to push out, and that created the opportunity for Klinsman to turn provider once more. Sooner or later, quality tells, and there are so many quality forwards in this Spurs lineup. It's becoming shooting practice now. And in the close season, they will remember and look back ruefully on this. They will hope to be playing in the Premier League next season. And that is all that's left for Southampton after tonight. And that just... It's going to look very cruel in the scorebooks, this one, as Darren Anderton makes it six. Well, when you're down, you can go a long way down, and Spurs have been dismantling Southampton piece by piece in this second period of extra time. Lovely finish from Anderton. Bruce Grabelars. Unhappy evening is given a characteristic parting shot, and it was virtually the last kick of the match. Have pity for Southampton, but the glory belongs to Ronnie Rosenthal, who's gone to claim the match ball immediately. And why not? It is his property. After a sensational introduction and a hat trick, Jerry Francis may have admitted to making a serious tactical error, but he put it right. And then his players, given the steel and confidence that Spurs now have, went about saving themselves in the FA Cup. The joy of victory for Tottenham Hotspur is complete. They meet Liverpool in round six after a quite incredible cup tie finishes Southampton 2, Tottenham Hotspur 6.